Hello and welcome or welcome back to the boss house. I'm Bo. This is my journey to find financial stability for me, my partner and his three kids. So this is actually a very special budget. This is the first time I'm going to include my budget that's normally my self-employment income. So uh, this is just the house now because I'm not doing any self-employment right now because I don't have a vehicle. Um, and also as of May 31st, I will no longer have a tenant. So this is all me now, and I decided that I'm going to share the entire house selling journey. Um, so here we go. First month of me sharing this. This is just going to be for June. Um, so there's, there's no actual income <laughs> because I don't have any self-employment income right now. So all this is is money from savings and money from personal. So this is... Um, what I'm planning to take out of my house fund for June. Of course, this might be wildly inaccurate. I have no idea because I can't I can't really get quotes with for contractors without the contractor seeing the property. And I don't really trust my tenant to be dealing with all these contractors coming in and out of the house. So I'm just gonna start that whole process when I get up there. So um, let's get started. Uh, $9,737 is what I'm planning on taking out of my savings. Um, mortgage is $1,186 that comes out on the first and then my home security system is $71 and that comes out on the 30th. So those are the only real two bills that are coming out. Um, I'm budgeting for about $7,000 in paying contractors. Again, I have no idea how much this is gonna be. I haven't gotten any quotes yet because they haven't seen the property. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna get that all started after the first really because the first is when I arrive there um so I'm gonna look around I'm gonna like buy whatever supplies I think I need and then I'll start meeting contractors starting the day after so um just tentatively I'm budgeting seven thousand for that which brings my fixed expenses to eight thousand two hundred fifty seven dollars leaves me with one thousand four hundred eighty dollars now this is, again, this is very tentative because I don't know how things are gonna work out, but I'm just doing my best <laughs> with what I know so far. So uh, for variable expenses, I'm planning on fuel being $400 because while I'm not gonna have a vehicle the whole time I'm there, I am gonna have a rental car for the first three days and then I'm gonna have a U-Haul bringing the rest of my belongings back to Chicago from Minnesota. So that drive is a significant number of hours and U-Hauls use a lot of fuel. So um, this is just my tentative budget for how much fuel I'm gonna go through. It may very well be less, I don't know, um, but this is my best estimate. And then I'm budgeting 220 for, for food uh, because that is, I'm going to be up there for two weeks and that is half of my normal food budget for the month. Um, this is what I normally budget for groceries for two weeks. So I'm hoping that this will kind of work out the same way. However, I am not going to have like there. No, I don't have dishes up there. I don't have like cookware. I don't have stuff. So I'm going to bring up an electric skillet and uh, and I'm going to buy like I'm going to go to a grocery store or something and buy like a bowl, a plate, <laughs> like just try to do the best I can so I can fix as much food as I can because I really don't want to eat out a lot. Um, but I I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, I'm going to do my best to not spend even half of this. I'm really going to do my best. Uh, but we'll see what happens. So um, budgeting 220 for that. And then the U-Haul, I'm estimating $560 um, because um, you can't just get a van to go across state lines. Like the distance is too far for, for that. So I have to get the 10-foot truck at the very least. And then um, 
I'm I'm gonna get like that accident insurance because I'm real paranoid because I cannot afford to pay for any kind of damage or loss or anything. So uh, so that and I'm getting a dolly because there are going to be some heavy things that I'm gonna have to move, um, and a cup a uh, a handful of those um, like furniture blankets because I am gonna bring some things back. Like I did leave some things in Minnesota when I moved here. Um, so I'm budgeting 560 for that. And then a hundred dollars for the rental car because I am gonna prepay gas. I'm gonna prepay fuel. And um, I don't know, I don't remember. I think it was like $83 or something last time I prepaid fuel. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Um, Oh, and I got to get their insurance because I don't, I'm not going to have car insurance. So uh, I'm going to have to do that too. And then supplies for $200. Um, this is the last thing I'm budgeting. This, oh, I don't know how much I'm going to need to buy. I did leave some things in Minnesota when I left. Again, I did say that before. Um, but I don't know if they're going to be any cleaning supplies. I'm going to have to buy toilet paper, at least one roll probably, um, because I, I can't. I, I don't know if my tenant is going to leave anything behind. I'm definitely going to need paper towels. Definitely going to need, um, like, some kind of tool. Like, I'm, I'm going to bring, like, a screwdriver and a hammer. But, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to need. So uh, I'm just budgeting $200 for that tentatively. And that brings my total to $1,480, which is... It. So that is a zero based budget for preparing my house to sell. Um, this is again, this budget is going to be for the whole month. However, I'm only going to be in Minnesota doing these things for two weeks. So it's basically going to the end because some contractors are going to be going to the house after I leave and my realtor is going to meet them. Um, and of course, my security system comes out at the end of the month. So I think that's it. Um, I'm not doing anything with sinking funds or extra debts or anything. Whatever's left is just going to go right back in my house fund. Uh, so that's it. Um, I appreciate you so much for sticking by. If you have any questions about this or have any tips, feel free to let me know in the comments. I love you. I appreciate you. You deserve financial stability and I hope you have a great day on purpose. Bye.